Most of us grew up with cars to go from A to B as a symbol of absolute freedom. But in a world where more and more cities are congested today, people tend to switch over to bicycles to go to work or just ride them for fun. Because riding one of these lets you keep that feeling of absolute freedom. No wonder that, after the introduction of e-bikes, the number of bicycle trips has grown enormously in the last couple of years. But all this positive news has one big downside. The number of injured people riding a bicycle has gone through the roof. We've reached a point where there are more fatalities of people riding a bike than there are of people driving cars. To give you some insight into these numbers, take a look. The number of fatalities from people driving cars decreases year after year, which makes sense, since cars and roads have become much safer over the last decades. And this line of fatalities in cars converged with those on bicycles around 2017. But as you look closer, you'll see that this number tends to switch to more deaths on a bicycle than riding a car. In the past, uh, the focus was on investing on car infrastructure. Uh, you see it works, but cycling is becoming more and more popular in the Netherlands. Older people keep cycling longer. You have new kinds of bicycles, e-bikes, speed pedelecs. So now you see that uh, road safety becomes an issue for cyclists as well. And that's why there's now more uh, accidents with bikes than with cars. Now let's take 2015 for a closer look. During that year, there were 621 fatal injuries in the Netherlands. Amongst them, just over 200 people riding a bicycle. But there's another number that most people aren't aware of. Among the 21,300 people that got injured in 2015, 11,000 were people riding a bike that got injured without the interference of a motor vehicle being involved. Which means that they either bumped against a pole or a sidewalk, or just fell off the bike for whatever reason as they were riding on the road. Now, this is where several parties from governments, industry, and universities got together in order to make things better. Because a vast number of these accidents could have been avoided if the roads for cyclists had been better. A situation that got the attention from parties, such as Van Rens Mobility, a company that prepares roads with signs and road signs. I looked for the cause of these cycling accidents and I thought, there's a solution for this. And so I began to think about our expertise. How can we have an impact to make things better? They took the simple fact of the history that increased safer roads for cars and copied that as an example on roads for bicycles, a process in which also the province of Utrecht got involved in. We're working together with uh, several uh, road authorities that will maintain this cycle route and they will make improvements so it will be up to specs. And the specs we have uh, developed together and also with other partners, uh, the specialists in uh, uh, road design, one of them is uh, Van Rens. Both took a closer look at the increasing number of normal bikes next to the rise of e-bikes in general, and more specifically, the so-called pedelecs, which are high-speed bicycles that go nearly 50 kilometers an hour. In the Netherlands, we have the problem that it's getting increasingly busier on the bicycle paths, and the developments with speed bikes together with speed differences increase the danger factor significantly. Basically, the study shows that there are three things that improve road safety for cyclists. If we're talking about safety on the bicycle paths, think about visibility, think about predictability, and think about clarity. We raise the visibility of the cycle paths by placing large markings along the side of the paths. We make the driving or cycling directions clearer by placing a clear axis in the middle of the path. We also try to make objects and poles more visible by placing extra markers. What happened then 
was that these studies had to be executed in reality in order to prove what was discovered. Then, the test was implemented on a route in Utrecht, one that was especially created for cyclists. A perfect place to set up this experiment, which was made financially possible by the province of Utrecht. And this is what was done. We are developing fast cycling routes in the Netherlands. And our first route is from Amersfoort to Utrecht. Uh, the definition of a fast cycling route is that it's a route with uh, enough width for uh, cyclists, uh, a comfortable surface, concrete or asphalt, and as uh, uh, less as possible obstructions. All in all, being aware of the large number of cyclist injuries, it's good to know that with a relatively low-cost solution, cyclists will benefit from this. And this also helps more people to choose a bicycle as their mode of transportation in the years to come. It's a path that these men took, just as others did in the world of cars before them, with great results. My ambition in this pilot program is to keep on developing so that we will reach a national guideline for bicycle paths in which we will be able to make a significant contribution to decline of bicycle accidents. My message to you is that with a simple technique like road markings, you get significant improvement in road safety and also the behavior of cyclists. Let's hope that this short film helps you and your country lower the number of accidents among cyclists as well.